submitted to a perfect father, how can a woman submit to an imperfect husband? Very intelligent question. Obviously asked by a woman. <laughs> a wife. Uh, who probably has, not probably, who definitely has an imperfect husband, just like every wife here. I'm an imperfect husband. There is no perfect husband on earth. Uh, now, the thing is, our example is not only Jesus submitting to his heavenly father, but for 30 years submitting to imperfect Joseph and Mary. That's our example. How did Jesus, who was perfect, never sinned, knew everything perfectly, submit to two thoroughly imperfect people like Joseph and Mary who were not even New Covenant Christians? They were Old Covenant people under the law and Old Covenant people were all defeated people. And yet Jesus submitted to them. And that was the Father's way of saying, you don't have to find out whether someone is perfect before you submit, you just got to find out, has God placed you there? I could ask this question also. If you're working, how can you submit to an imperfect boss? Have you, any of you got perfect bosses at work? Will you say to your boss, you're imperfect, I can't submit to you? You wouldn't do that because you'd lose your job immediately. And whoever asked this question, I'm sure, you want your husband to submit to an imperfect boss, otherwise you won't have any income in your home. So, the, God allows us to submit to imperfect leadership. Every elder in every church is imperfect. There's nobody perfect. So that's where, why Jesus has become an example for us for 30 years submitting to imperfect earthly parents.